バイバイバイ Good morning, everybody. So, today I was gonna redo my stuffed shells.、Um, I fixed them a few weeks ago now, and I mean, it was good, but it wasn't what I wanted. So, I said I would stuff them this time with like chicken and shrimp. My mom came a couple weeks ago, and she bought like each person in this house three pounds of shrimp. And if you don't know, we is nine people in this house, so that's 27 pounds of shrimp. So, we're gonna be eating shrimp every week until it's all gone. But anyway, Today, I'm going to do the stuffed shells with chicken and shrimp. I'm going to stuff that, and then I'm going to do an Alfredo sauce to put on top. And I'll just show you guys the process. In this bowl, I have the chicken breast.、Um, I had taken out two chicken breasts, and I cut them in half widthwise to give me four chicken breasts. And I seasoned it with garlic, salt, pepper, onion powder, and then this no salt Tony. And over here, I have、um, the shrimp. I have three pounds of shrimp here. You, you won't need this much. I, she just had them in three pound bags, so I just defrosted a whole bag. And then I just seasoned it with the Tony's、um, seasoning, and this one has salt in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and saute or pan fry the chicken breast. I got my big cast iron here. I'm gonna put some olive oil in it. So I'm gonna put like a, I don't know, a few tablespoons of olive oil in here. And I'll put the chicken breast in when I can see some smoke coming out of this pan. So I don't know if you can see it, but the pan is smoking a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken breast in, cook them、uh, probably about four minutes per side. I don't know, three, four minutes. And then I'll take them out and add the shrimp in the same pan to cook the shrimp down. So here I have the four chicken breasts that I sauteed or pan fried that I'm going to cut up along with the shrimp. I'm going to cut those all into bite sized pieces. I'm going to put these bite sized pieces of shrimp and chicken inside the shells and then I will cover it with my cream sauce that I want to make in a second. I'm going to use the same pan that I cooked the chicken and the shrimp in and I'm going to throw in one whole red bell pepper chopped. Until these are nice and soft, and then I'm going to throw in、uh, some butter and heavy whipping cream. So I just added in、uh, half a stick of butter into my peppers. I'm going to let that melt, and then I'm going to stir in my heavy whipping cream and add in some Parmesan cheese. Just poured in a quart of heavy whipping cream. Now I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, Parmesan cheese, that's what this is.、Uh, just add in that whole bag. What size was this? Six ounces. 
If you ever watched any of my videos, I told you, said in that one, I don't measure. I just kind of go till it feels like it's right. So, a quart of heavy whipping cream and six ounce bag of Parmesan cheese. So I added in um, another ounce or two of Parmesan cheese and I'm going to let this um, reduce down till it thickens a little bit. Then I'll let you see me pouring it over the pasta. So this is my cream sauce. Um, I've let it cool down some so it's thicker and I'm going to pour it into these shells. I've stuffed them all with the chicken and the shrimp. So I'm going to pour this over there and then put some mozzarella on top and put it in the oven. So this is the finished product. Well, kind of. I'm about to put it in the oven. So I just topped it with a little bit of mozzarella. And I'm going to put it in the oven. I have my oven at 400. And once the cheese is uh, melted and a little brown on the top, then I'll take it out. So I just pulled the shells out of the oven. And this is what it looks like. I let it broil a little bit just to get it a little brown on top. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and fix everybody's plate. Y'all, I just realized that I forgot to show y'all the food on the plate, like before I served it to everybody. Um, we were ready to eat. That is a long process. It was good, but it is a long process. That is not something you make during the middle of the week. That's a weekend dish only, because it takes a long time. It's a lot of prep work. But it was so good. Is We don't have any leftovers. Everybody ate it. Well, everybody um, but my boys. None of the boys ate it. Daniel's... And the babies, they out. They weren't going to eat that either. But everybody else ate it. And you saw that big dish. We don't have any leftovers. But it was so good. So if you try it, please let me know if you like it. Or if there's anything else you think I should add to it to make it taste better. But it was so good. Um, but that is it. I'm so tired. Overly stuffed. But I'm about to go and get myself ready for bed. Because I think I have to go to work tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the dish because we did. Um, let me know if you try it down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.